My name is Anthony Goliath Pietro. Origins of my battle tag are, as a kid, my history teacher taught us the myth of David and Goliath, and when it came time to choose a battle tag, I had two choices, so uh, I went with the bigger guy. Uh, I'm born into a relatively large family. I have three sisters, no brothers. Um, I was born in NorCal. If I wasn't playing hockey or wasn't in school, I was playing video games. Um, the first game I really got into was Call of Duty 4, classic. I played with my friends all the time, and they were always saying how good I was and how it was like unfair advantage, but I mean, at the time I just figured, I mean, it was just a game. Like, I, I wasn't thinking of it competitively or anything like that, so. Probably League of Legends was the next big game I got into. I spent about three years playing League from when it like came out, and like I played it for thousands of hours. And I was well, and I did good in that too. I got up to Challenger. There just wasn't even a connection to me that I could be on a team playing against them instead of just casually. So I was just playing for fun. I finished my community college. I was ready to transfer to San Jose State for a degree in business management. As I was about to transfer, I got an offer to play for XL2, so I had to make a choice. I figured that this was the only time in my life that I could do something, so I had to do it. Otherwise, I would have regretted the choice for the rest of my life, probably. I had offers from three different contenders teams. I was ready to choose, and then somebody, my, best, my good friend Adam told me, wait, New York's still making an academy team. Hold off on signing. And I'm like, oh, okay. So a few weeks pass, New York starts talking to me. And they're like, okay, yeah, we want you. Here's a contract. And I read it, and I'm like, okay. There's no decision to be made. Parents haven't really been super supportive of the choice of gaming that I went with after college. Well, dropping out of college. But hopefully, once thing, if things turn around, they'll start to support me if I can get an Overwatch League.